What's up? What's good? What's going on, Sagittarius? Let's jump in and get a money career message. See what's going on in the week ahead for the money and career for Sagittarius. What can Sagittarius expect for the week ahead when it comes to their finances and career? This is going to be for your Sag Sun Moon Rising, North Node Venus, as well as that ninth house placement class. So, ooh, so we have small steps, big accomplishments. This is not biting off more than you can chew. Going steady, Eddie, not trying, um, slow and steady runs the race. You don't have to rush this one. Yeah, there's something that you're trying to tame in order to attain it, okay? And this is going to require small steps, but it is going to lead to some major, major accomplishments here. So the number 8 and the number 10 could be significant, as well as the number 28. Let's see. Eighty-eight could be uh, significant as well, Sag. All right, Spirit. What's going on for Sagittarius? Ninth house collective money messages, money and career. So we have multitasking. Something is going to require a lot of multitasking. That's why it's small steps are going to bring you way more um, achievement than trying to. Uh, take big, yeah, it's going to bring in, it's going to open up a mother load. Let's see, Spirit. What else can you tell us for the Sagittarius? Thank you. We have training. So there's still some learning to be done here under this situation. But you're headed in the right direction. Thank you, Spirit. Um, Wow. The sale of something is just going to unlock this money tree energy here. And micromanage. Yeah, you're needing to play. Uh, Spirit is asking you to pay very close attention to the details right now. But, you know, Sagittarius, I do feel like that there's a lot going on. This particular woman, it looks like she's working from home. But she's also taking care of the children. So there's a lot of multitasking going on. Um, but I feel like the practice is going to make perfect with this situation. Um, there's something to do with making small steps, not trying to take on too much at one time but like also doing your research on your target like who who is it that you're targeting reaching right now um there's a need i, I feel the need to tell someone uh investigating what your market is and what attracts your market will help you increase this here okay Let's see what's going on. Let's get these five cards out here. We're going to look at the financial state. We're going to look and see where the new source of income slash career is coming from. Opportunities to consider. How these opportunities will benefit you. And then the outcome. So let's see what's going on here. So we do have the five of pentacles for your financial state. We have the eight of pentacles uh, for the where your new source of income or career is coming from. We have the empress, the star card, and the six of cups. And the new beginnings at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius. Yeah, you're going to have to uh, possibly be mindful. You might need a... Um, uh, there might be a downsize before there's an increase. Um, but even if there's not a downsize, this is just saying like that right now where your finances are at, there is a need to kind of hold on to what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? There's um, there's some changes going on. 
you may be experiencing some financial hardships right now, just not having all that you would like to have. Uh, but th these things are going to be changing for you very soon. Now, the Eight of Pentacles for where your new source of income or career is going to come from, it is going to come from a skill that has been mastered or a skill that you are currently in the process of mastering. So, um, I actually like to see that because it lets me know that where your income is going to come from, it's going to be something that actually feeds you. Um, the opportunities to consider is really... Um, something that is nurturing you know what i'm saying like um what i'm really getting here is one allow these opportunities to come to you this is getting in that receptive energy the options to consider are the ones that come to you not the ones that you have to go out there and uh, badger someone from those aren't the opportunities to really consider at this time because I feel like that the the particular opportunity for you that's going to bring in an amount of increase in your a grand amount of increase in your finances is actually something that you enjoy doing and it's something that you do naturally that someone else is going to be like damn I need her to do I need her or him to do that for me how much will they charge that's really what I'm feeling. And how these opportunities are going to benefit you, it's going to give you a new sense of hope. It's going to be wish fulfillment. It's going to liven you up. And the outcome here is the Six of Cups. This is telling me that this is going to be like this childlike joy with this here. What's going on with the Five of Pentacles, material and financial changes for Sagittarius' current financial state? Guys, if you're still with me at seven minutes in, we would absolutely appreciate that um, thumbs up down below. It does help grow my channel, and it also helps circulate the messages out to other Sagittarians in need. So here's what I've got, Sagittarius, with the um, privileged lady and the main female. Um, you could this could be a mother. Or this could be a message for a mother. Does it necessarily have to be? It could just be a message for someone that is standing strong in their feminine energy. Okay, but uh, what this is telling me is that um, where you may have been in a more comfortable position a while back, it's not as comfortable as you are accustomed to. But I still don't feel like that things are. I don't feel a complete desolation right now. It's just here. I, I do feel like that. Um, whereas you might have been able to go, uh, you know, and eat lobster and all of that good shit every night or twice a week. Now you're down to once a month. You know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like that there are some adjustments that are being made. Um, I don't feel like that this is a necessary. Yeah, with uh, bad health here. Um, You could be nurturing someone. And because of the state of taking care of someone else in your life, it could be taken away from other areas, which is why multitasking is needed in small steps. Don't overwhelm yourself. I do feel like that you have a lot on your plate. Let me see this Eight of Pentacles. You may even be moving. Um, this is the Eight of Pentacles, but it's on a ship here. Um, you know, honestly, if I could be... Uh, someone could be... Okay. <laughs> someone could be taking your work. And someone could see your work from the person that's been stealing your work and be interested and that just draws that person towards you because there's something about this person that is trying to copy your work or um, whatever put your work off as theirs someone seeing it but it's like this person is looking for you and there could be some type of um verdict rendered uh there but yeah i see theft here at the bottom of the deck distant horizon i wouldn't too much worry about it because this is saying um where the source of income and uh in uh, new sources 
of income and career are coming from and like I said it could be it could be that someone like let's just say you do what I do someone could be stealing your your video recordings and uploading it um, but the person that is inquiring on the work that's being uploaded they're inquiring about the person in the video you know what I'm saying like where's that person at how do I get in touch with that person or something along that lines um, but also for a few others of you all um, this is really giving me like being sought out um, to mediate a situation like being summons to help mediate a situation some of you all could be um somewhere along that lines all right let's move forward how the um opportunities to consider what way too many but spirit wants this there is some type of false person in your horizon um they do not have your best intentions in mind and especially if it's two people if you run into two people around the same time and you're not aware i feel like that there's some type of connection between those two people okay just keep that in mind as it pertains to your money and your career all right what's the empress yeah i'm telling you like you're gonna be just someone is the opportunity you don't have to go do too much i feel like that the opportunities for you to really consider they're the ones that are coming into you that like it's like there's an opportunity already in the making and like someone's already got you in mind for that position it is coming towards you sag yeah courtship partnership it's coming to you someone already has you in mind for a position it may require some training and that may feel like that may Put you in a position where like you already have too much on your plate so you're you, you kind of second guess taking this on but that is the opportunity to consider there what is this how is this opportunity going to benefit sagittarius spirit it's going to like look it's going to increase like there are going to be some major changes and the one thing that i like about this car card here it could put you moving it could actually put you moving. I definitely feel like that you're going to be moving to some type of new community. Um, whatever this person is that is like already so, like seeking you out, they've already got like the position that they have in mind. You're the perfect place. You're the perfect person to fill that position. And um, this it may require you to move. Either way it goes, I feel like that it's going to increase your abundance for sure. Someone is in the position of already trying to line this up too, Sag. Let's see the outcome here, the Six of Cups. What's going on with the outcome? We've got coffin and home. Community, yeah. Child. You know, I'm not going to lie. This could be you um, doing something inside of it. Like how things were done in the past, you could be ending that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You could be putting it into the way. Th something is transforming here. The past is no more. It's like you're the, like, let's just say that um, there's a community center that is done there. And it's, it's like is ending and it's like somebody sees you as the perfect face to resuscitate this community center and it could be that like you know like it is completely revamped but because of your past you're the perfect person for this and it could have something to do with children because i do see children in pathway here you could be meant to work with children So let's just see what the most important I do want to, I ain't going to lie I know we 14 minutes in now but I want what hell give me a second 
I was just going to pause that because the one card that fell on the floor is the Five of Pentacles. I'm going to swoop these cards up and I'm going to, if they want to be in there in the reverse, then they can be in there in the reverse. But I do now, that makes me even more curious because I've also seen the Eight of Pentacles upright. The Five of Pentacles was on the floor. The Eight of Pentacles stayed on the table and those are the only, two, well, the Five of Pentacles that was face down. But the Eight of Pentacles was the only card upright on the desk. So I'm definitely going to clarify those two cards, guys. And I, I'm very curious to, to know what this Five of Pentacles issue is. Um, you could be left something. I'm not going to lie. Um, you could be left something. And whatever it is that you're left, it's going to require some training. Star card in the reverse. And set hopelessness, despair. Let's see. Five of Pentacles here. What's going on with the Five of Pentacles for Sagittarius with their fin current financial state? The Chariot. I feel like that this is you moving forward, overcoming it. I do feel like that there are going to be some massive changes. Knight of Wands, you don't have a clear vision because of a tower. So whatever, like... the. It is a major uncomfortable change. A tower from a masculine energy. A masculine could be going through some type of upheaval. A father figure. This could be a Leo. This could be an Aries. This could be a Scorpio. This could be a masculine a Sagittarius. Um, I don't... Uh, just for maybe one person here... Be mindful of <clears throat> the energy going on in your kitchen. Um, I'm not going to lie. I, I, see, I keep seeing a lot of cooking in a fire. So be mindful of that, Sagittarius. <clears throat> I got the Magician in the reverse, the Two of Swords in the reverse. There's a truth. Like someone is clearly seeing someone's manipulations. Clarify the bad health. What is the bad health spirit? Because the storyline that's coming through right now, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah. Um, someone, so I definitely feel like that a privilege, like, okay, so hold on, hold on, slow okay. down. The current state is financial changes right now. Like, things are not as they used to be. Um, because I feel like that someone is, someone's doing some financial abuse here. Like, there's someone is withholding finances, but um someone's not doing right financially someone's not doing right by someone else financially here and so it's causing a mother figure i am going to go ahead and say that it's causing a feminine energy that has a, that already has a lot of financial burdens um a lot more stress it's causing them to multitask in unnecessary ways i feel like that there's going to be a change like even though there's a financial stronghold right now that's going to be shifting here. Let's look at this Eight of Pentacles. It's going to be shifting. You can already be calling the shots. Where somebody was possibly four of wands. Yeah, someone's like, someone's seeing, someone's calling judgment on an unstable situation, on a, on a financial dispute is what I'm going to call it. And so I feel like that this judgment is coming in and it's going to help. Like it's been a long time coming. It's definitely seen. Something that you're pessimistic that it's going to be balanced out, it's going to be balanced out. Also, I'm hearing... There are people that are pessimistic about their situation ever getting balanced out. These people are going to be consulting you to help balance that out. Let's look at this. Um, show me the coffin energy on top of this six of cups. Actually, just show me the six of cups. Let's look at the six of cups first. Yeah, the tower. See, I'm telling you. There are... There goes that five of pentacles. String card at the bottom of the deck. 
temperance in the uh, challenging position. Queen Wands. Um, I definitely feel like that some sort of collaboration is coming to an end. And this come Okay. I don't feel like that's the collaboration. I feel like that because of that ending in that collaboration is what allows you to rebuild and balance something out. I do feel like that you are the one Sagittarius that's going to get the opportunity to rebuild something. Somebody that... Somebody has, like... This person might have encountered you in the past and looked over you and really didn't give you the credit you deserve not necessarily feeling that's the storyline but there's something about this person partnering up in another dynamic it didn't work out right but as that like this person already has you in mind to transform that position to rebuild something because somebody Show me the tower. Why, what is the tower? Yeah. There was some resistance to some change. Some. Something is. Okay. Something is outdated. Something needs. Someone is refusing to change. Something is not moving. Morphing. Like something is not um, adapting with the times. Somebody sees you as the sees you as the key to adapt in this facility if this facility or whatever this is does not get transformed and doesn't morph with the time then this is this is something that can end and this person knows that you are the key am i right yes just hang tight this is going to come to you this is going to come to you sag wow okay i'm gonna leave that right there See, tame and attain. Thank you, Spirit. Brought me. Tame and attain. Better than you can imagine. You're about to tame some shit that is gone. Like this fire needs to be tamed. And you're the key to taming it. You're getting ready to give birth to something beautiful. Whereas you felt like. Like, I don't know if you felt like it was all. Just like all hope was lost or whatever the case may be. But mm -mm, that's not the case, Seth. It's like every time someone goes to a drawing board, they see Sag. It's like, what would Sagittarius do? And they don't know. So it's like somebody in the boardroom is like, just go get Sag. <laughs> I do feel like that there's a win here. Yeah, it says close your eyes and open your heart. It's a seven card soul giraffe. You're definitely going to have to see the bigger picture. You're going to have to keep your eyes trained on the bigger picture. And don't forget money tree did come out. So I feel like that this is something that will be very lucrative. Momentum more. There may not be a someday. This is coming sooner than you think. You're not going to have our day to make this decision. There's no wrong turns. Trust your gut. Yeah. Trust your gut. And it says listen in stillness to meet your true self. Trust your gut. This is definitely a new beginning. And I feel like that this new beginning is your justice here. Yeah. This person I feel like this person should have partnered with you a long time ago, honestly. There's something about that energy that I keep feeling. As far as your career and money goes, this person should have partnered with you some time ago or was led to partner with you some time ago, but something changed the course. So now I feel like that this is someone that's doubling back around. Something could have gotten off track in their life. Something could have gotten off track in your life. All right, Saz, that's what I have for you. I hope that this helped you on your journey. If this message resonated, don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Love and light, Saj.